guys, welcome to Earth to Rosita. So today I really wanted to talk about John Venus's new um, video where he goes hunting. Um, and I have a couple of things to say before I get into this video. Um, I know that some of you watching I actually uh, like ranted to you guys about this and yeah, so some, um, I ranted to some of you about this because I was so angry. <laughs> and I know that it's, it's, it's probably ridiculous to be angry about, like, some YouTuber who is, um, an ex-plant-based person who didn't really understand, or even worse, understood the philosophy behind veganism. Um, so he was ex-vegan or plant-based or whatever you want to like label him and he went from that to literally like becoming a hunter and I don't think it's really about like him uh, frustrating me like I mean obviously it is the fact that he does frustrate me and stuff but it's what he represents that really frustrates me and I, I, I know that some of you probably want to watch the video to get the full context of what it was like like there was nothing graphic in the video I've seen reaction videos where they're live streaming their reaction and I didn't view it myself and I don't want to give him that view um, I'm sorry this is gonna be a rambly video I'm gonna say that straight off the bat um, and I'm gonna, like, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna, like, have a list of things in order to say. I'm just gonna, like, have all of my thoughts scattered. Um, but I think, um, yeah, there was nothing graphic in the video. He, the only thing that comes close to like graphic is the blood of the deer on the snow um, uh, and the blood on his hands um, so a couple of things frustrate me about him releasing this video I think um, I'm gonna start with the main thing and that's that he is uh, romanticizing hunting um, he first of all he claimed that uh, the area that he's in is overpopulated by deer but as you can see in the video um, it took them like hours and hours and hours to find any deer so how could there be like an overpopulation issue when you can barely find any deer and the ones that you did find is just three deer and he shot the mother deer and um yet yeah, like even in that I have a problem with that and the problem is that now the children of that deer are going to be traumatized and um you know because there is blood splattered on the snow um the prey is like like the deer are probably going to be killed um, which you know it causes an imbalance if you think about it um, I think Michelle Lowe said it best <laughs> I'll be honest I still can't like explain it as well so if you wanted to um, go watch her video on it. I'll link that down below. And I know, like, eventually they would have died anyway, like, um, predator eats prey, that's the way nature works, but, yeah, um, it's just, it's not necessary to do that. Like, nature takes care of itself without human interference. Um, so that's the first problem I had this overpopulation lie that he blatantly like made clear is a fucking lie because if there was an overpopulation problem then how the fuck 
didn't we see a like a mountain full of fucking deer? We only saw three deer in like the four hours they went hunting. You know, um, the second problem I had with was his appeal to ancestors. His appeal to ancestors, though, like okay. Which ancestor had like, wep like guns? Which ancestor had, um, like a camper, a camper van, a BMW camper van, by the way. Um, which ancestor had like food readily available to them before they go fucking hunting? Um, <laughs> tell me which ancestors? Um, there's like. There's a lot of atrocious, atrocious shit our ancestors done in the past, like thousands of years ago, in the fucking past, that nobody does today. Modern living does not resonate with ancestors by any means. I drive a fucking car, y'all. Um, the coffee that I drink uh, is readily made. Um, We live in houses. We get supplied water and electricity. Um, this appeal to ancestors is the most laughable thing because we don't, we literally do nothing our ancestors done except for immoral actions that are widely accepted as, as immoral. Like our ancestors, you know, like raped, they, um, uh, murdered humans, camel cannibalized. Um, some tribes, I'm pretty sure, like some people still do that, but most people in the world, any of the shit that our ancestors did, we don't do now, and it's not acceptable, and it's not accepted within most modern most most societies. Um, so this appeal to ancestors, ancestors is just ridiculous. Like, we have mobile phones, guys. I'm recording this on a phone. You're listening to what I'm saying on your phone or laptop. We have Wi-Fi that connects us all, like, to people all around the world. So, like, it's just, it's, I don't know why we're so uh, like, I don't understand the spiritual reason why we're so attached to our meat eating days when we literally don't do anything, um, our ancestors did. Why are you guys so afraid of moving forward with time? Um, you already did, you're already doing it in a lot of different ways, you know? You're already, you've already moved through time in a lot of different aspects. Um, so why is it so hard, like, why is it so hard for you to let go of eating the flesh of animals when there's literally, like, mock meats coming out every, every couple of months in a year? Um, you really have to think about that. There's nothing natural about it, and you can argue morality is subjective, but if you really, like, want to argue that, then, like, if you already accept that abusing and exploiting animals in general, not just for food, is morally abhorrent, then... Why don't you extend that out? Like, if you think about dogs, for example, or cats, why don't you extend that out to chickens, cows, pigs, turkeys, um, and culture? You know, like, culture doesn't excuse this moral act, uh, like, immoral act. Um, so that's, uh, that's one of the rants that I wanted to go off on, um, and he also went to a fucking grocery store to buy vegan food, by the way, um, before he went on this hunting trip. 
murder spree, aka. Um, so he's definitely like, he just confirmed on the fucking cinematic ass uh, video that he is not in a survival situation because there is a grocery store with an abundance of food available to him. So straight off the bat, like within like the first, I don't know, less than uh, three minutes of his video, he's already showing that this is not about survival. So therefore, this is not about being connected to nature. This is not about um, anything that our ancestors did. This is just about... Uh, you know, like, he is from a ha family of hunters, so he wants to follow through with that tradition to be accepted in his wife's family. Um, and that's blatantly obvious. Like, that is so obvious. Um, and also, yeah, romanticizing the concept of hunting as well as taking off his shirt like, why are you taking off your shirt? Is it, like, you are, it, can you be any more obvious of what you're trying to do? You're trying to look sexy on camera. You're trying to, like, that's so fucked up if you think about it. He is trying to associate sexy men are hunters. That is the message that um, he gave out. Um, I don't find him sexy, but objectively speaking, like, women are, you know, attracted to men with muscle. Um, okay, not all women in general, but some women, some women at least. Um, you know, like, they're attracted to somebody that looks buff, somebody that looks good, shirtless. Um, it's, it's so obviously, like, um, a mating call. <laughs> Even though he's fucking married. Why are you taking off your shirt? Um, and, like, if you're not, like, into boys, <laughs> then it's probably the message that he wanted to send out with going shirtless is to, like, show men that real men are hunters, that real men are, like, the guys that go out and shoot animals, and this is just, like, false masculinity shit. Um, I'm more attracted to somebody who shows compassion, who doesn't go fucking murdering innocent beings who are just, like, living their lives. Um... Like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's despicable. It's despicable. Um, and I don't have any personal feelings about him. I just don't like what he's trying, he, what he is doing. He doesn't understand the detriment of what he's doing. He is romanticizing. Uh... And glorifying, murdering animals for no reason. Um, he's glorifying it and people are just like so in awe. Of, like I've seen some of the most cringy comments in that video. In the comment section of that video. Like some people are like straight out saying, oh my god, this is such beautiful cinema, cinema, cinema photography. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Um, it's just, it's just, it's the ugliest side to humanity. He is the ugliest side to humanity, and it's, it's not impressive. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't, guys, like, it's 2020, we shouldn't carry on this one part of our ancestry 
or we're gonna keep on having these problems. We're gonna keep on having all of these problems that don't like align with a more compassionate world. It's like it's evolve or um what's the opposite of evolve? Is it digress? Yeah. It's progress or digression. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I said that right. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. My response to John Venus's glorification of hunting. Um, and glorification of like murdering a family. You might not see it as a family. Um, and I can't argue with you if you don't. But... It's objectively speaking, it is a family of deer. People literally tear apart families because they want to eat the flesh of those families, those cows, those pigs, those chickens. And oftentimes I hear as a vegan that vegans are the cult like people. Um, And I just think that that is like the most accurate depict, like the most accurate example of self fucking projection. You are in like people who are animal flesh eaters are in the biggest, most accepted cult in the world. Um, and if you don't see that, then you are probably ignorant, and you need to do more research or. You're so brainwashed by this cult that nobody can save you. Okay, so I am done. Like this video, subscribe, and please go vegan if you're not vegan. Please. It's like the most <laughs> um, higher vibrational state that you can be in. Um... And I'm sorry to sound all, sorry to sound all hippy dippy on that topic, but it really is like we need to evolve spiritually by now. Like technologi technologically, we're amazing, but spiritually, we have a lot of work to do. We need to vibrate higher. And I'll link that um, video at the end of the like at the end of this video in the cards and stuff, so you can go and listen to my rant about vibrate higher. Um, so yeah, bye guys.